So what I want to do today is to talk to you about the non-inverting amplifier. This again is a closed loop configuration. You'll notice that we have a connection from this output, V out, through this resistor R2 and it is connected back to the inverting input. This is a negative feedback connection. Okay, um, let's think about this. Let's define a couple of currents here. We're going to call this current here I2 and let's call the current going through the resistor R1, let's call that current I1. Okay, let's look at this. I2 flows through this resistor R2, comes to this node over here, but given that we're assuming ideal op-amp uh, configuration here, then this current going in here is incredibly small, or to all intents and purposes, zero. So really the I2 is going to be equal to the I1. So let's just write that down so we can say that I2 is really equal to that current I1. Okay, let's talk about a voltage at this point here. We're going to call that voltage VA. Well, if we've got the same current basically flowing through these two resistors, then this is really effectively a voltage divider. And we can say that this voltage VA is simply equal to the voltage across the R1 resistor, so it's really R1, divided by the sum of those two resistors, which is R1 plus R2, and it's times that V out voltage, okay? Now, we've already really said that we've got a voltage VA, this voltage VD, very, very small, effectively zero, so therefore VA is really equal to the voltage at this non-inverting input, which of course is VS. And so we can say that VA is really equal to VS. All right, so let's put this into the above equation up here. And what do we have? We have VS is equal to R1 times V out divided by R1 plus R2. Now what we're trying to find here is really the closed loop voltage gain, which is what? It's that output voltage over this signal voltage over here. Well, we have everything in this equation. And so just rearranging this, we can say that what? V out uh, over Vs is really equal to R1 plus R2 uh, over R1. All right, well, what is this? This is really equal to, or could be rewritten as R2 over R1 plus one. And so this really represents what? It really represents what we call the closed loop voltage gain for a non-inverting amplifier. And so we could say this is AV uh, closed loop. What we want to do now is find the input resistance that the signal source over here actually sees for this non-inverting amplifier configuration. And so what that means is if we can define a current like this called IS, that input resistance, R in, is simply equal to this VS divided by IS. Okay, so we need to find a relationship for that. Um, what I'm showing you is basically uh, what we looked at way back when we considered the open loop uh, characteristics of the op-amp and we're looking at an RI resistance for the op-amp itself and a little voltage generator over here which was the open loop voltage gain uh, times this difference voltage VD. All right, so what we're going to do first of all is take a loop, all right? So let's write this down over here. So we'll take a loop. The loop we're going to take is really uh, from this point over here all the way around to here. So at this point we have what? With respect to ground, we have V out. All right, so let's write that down. So we have V out, okay. As we travel around the loop, we have a voltage drop across R2. We're dropping in polarity. So it's a minus I2 times what? R2. Continuing on around, we have now a drop across the R1 resistor, which is 
again, drop in polarity, so it's a minus I1, R1, so it's a minus I1 times R1, and all of that is equal to zero. We're going to assume that I2 is equal to I1, and that's true because these currents are much, much larger than any current that's coming in or going out of the actual input to the op-amp itself. Okay, so we'll assume that I1 is equal to I2. Okay, what we're going to do then is put this information here into the above equation and just collect our terms. So if we do this, we get V out is equal to I1, and that's times R1 plus R2. All right. We're also going to make the statement that that output voltage can be written down in relation to this little voltage generator over here. And so we can say that V out is really equal to AV open loop, so that's AVOL, multiplied by VD. Well, VD is really or can be expressed in terms of IS and this RI term over here. So VD is really IS times that RI. And so we can rewrite that as AV open loop uh, multiplied by IS uh, times that RI term. Okay, now taking this expression for V out and basically substituting into here, we have what? We have I1 uh, times R1 plus R2 is equal to uh, this expression over here, which is AVOLIS times RI. So I can actually rewrite that now in terms of I1, and I could say, well, I1 is simply equal to uh, AV open loop uh, times IS uh, RI uh, divided by the R1 plus the R2. Okay, now let's consider taking a loop on this side of the circuit over here, um, traveling this way. So VS minus VD minus what? I1, R1 all equals zero. So let's just write that down. And so we have Vs minus Vd, and then we've got the minus I1 times R1, and all of that is equal to zero, okay? Vd, of course, very, very small, let's assume as zero. So what we have is really Vs is equal to, taking this to the other side, I1 times R1. So what we're gonna do really, uh, to come up with our expression over here for input resistance is we're simply going to substitute now that I1 into this equation over here. So Vs is equal to I1, which is all of this, which is AV open loop times Is times Ri over R1 plus R2, and that is multiplied by what? The R1 term over here. All right, now what am I after? I'm after Vs divided by Is. So let's take that one more step. So Vs divided by Is is really equal to, so I'm taking this to the other side, it's AV open loop times Ri times R1, and this is over R1 plus R2. Now, if you remember from before, R1 plus R2 over R1 is equal to what? It's equal to the closed loop voltage gain, okay? So we can make a statement up here, AV closed loop of this non-inverting amplifier is basically equal to R1 plus R2 over R1. Well, just working with this a little bit, we can say that Vs over Is is equal to AV open loop times Ri 
And that's divided by what? R1 plus R2 divided by R1. This is the same as this. But this bit over here is what? We can call it the closed loop of voltage gain. Okay, so really this is equal to the open loop voltage gain multiplied by Ri, and that is divided by AV closed loop. So in summary, the closed loop voltage gain, which is V out over Vs, is really what? It's R2 over R1 plus 1. So it's a really value of these resistors. The input resistance that the signal source sees, which is of course this Vs divided by the Is, is equal to the open loop voltage gain multiplied by Ri, which is the input resistance of the op amp itself, divided by the closed loop voltage gain. Now in the case of an ideal op amp, this number here, AVOL, is what? It's infinity. And in Ri, also infinity. In the case of the, let's say, the 741, so an example here, let's say 741, that Ri term is of the order of what? 2 megaohms. And the AVOL term, well, that's of the order of 200,000. So really, if I look at the 741 example, AVOL, 200,000 times the Ri, which is 2 megaohms, is a really large number. And that's divided by basically the R2 over R1 plus 1 term over here. So really in the case of a non-inverting amplifier, that input resistance is very large. Much, much larger than the case of the inverting amplifier where the input resistance was just merely the R1. Thank you.